Hi guys, and welcome back to another new toy video. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you the new Coyote Free eSTEM system from DG Lab. Find out everything you need to know, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get into the video. Hi guys, I'm UK Daz as always, and as I said at the start of the video, I will be showing you the new Coyote Free from DG Lab. So you might be wondering, what is eSTEM? Well, this little box delivers a small but safe electrical current that makes your muscles relax and contract involuntary. So what I'm going to do in today's video is give you an unboxing video of the Coyote Free. Then what I'm going to do is show you how to use it without connecting it to the app. And whilst I'm at it, I'm also going to show you it working. So there there is absolutely loads to show you in this video, so I'm going to shut up and let you watch the unboxing video. Okay, as always, let's open the box and show you what's inside. On the outside packaging, there is no labels from DG Labs. However, there is a rather large customs label. And on the box on the inside, there is also no labels. Although it has been through customs, and as you'll see that the box is a little bit battered. Once we get into the box and move the packaging out of the way, you'll see DG Labs has sent me absolutely loads of attachments. I will be going through all the attachments and how to use them in upcoming videos. In this episode, I am only going to concentrate on the Coyote Free East In Base Unit, and I'll be showing you how to use it straight out the box without connecting it to an app. Although that is one of the key features for the Coyote Free. As you can see, there are going to be lots of videos coming up on this toy. Let's move all these boxes out of the way and get on with showing you the base unit. If we open the top of the box up, the first thing we'll see is two instruction manuals, one in Chinese and one in English. Hopefully Google's translation of this video will be good enough for people to follow along in other languages. As you can see, this is clearly the Chinese instruction manual. The other one underneath is the one in English. Much easier to read and see how to use the toy. Anyway, no need to read the instruction manual. This video will cover everything. So let's get it out of the way and show you the toy itself. Inside this leather case is your Coyote Free. All DG Lab attachments come inside their own leather case like this one. You can identify what's inside each of the cases as it has its own unique icon on the outside. The exception for this is the loops and the stim pads. So let's open it up and show you what you get when you buy the Coyote Free. In the bottom half is the Coyote Free eSTEM base unit. What you will notice when you take it out the case is it is extremely light. It only weighs 80 grams. So let's put that aside for a second and show you what's in the top half of the case. Don't worry, I will be coming back to it later in the video. The first thing on top is two sets of eSTEM pads. These are self-adhesive so they do stick to your skin. I actually really like that they include these in the base unit so it gives you something to use when you buy the toy. Also included in the case is a strap to attach the e-stim unit to. The strap is a velcro one so it can be attached to the person wearing it or yourself. It means they don't have to hold it and carry it. To attach the straps to the KOT3 all you need to do is feed it through the two holes either side of the e-stim unit. So what else is included? You do get a pair of 2.5 millimeter connecting cables. This end plugs into the Coyote 3 base unit and the other end plugs into your east in pads or your loops. There is just a couple more things to show you inside the case. One of those is the charging cable. The Coyote 3 uses a USB-C charging cable. Finally inside the case is the second set of connecting cables. So there you have it, that's what you get when you buy the Coyote 3 East In Base Unit from DG Lab. If I have inspired you to buy one, there is a link in the description below to my website where it'll give you all the details on how to get one. But before you scuttle off and place your order, I'm going to connect everything together and show you how the toy works. I'm not going to show you how to connect the Coyote 3 to the app in this video. I'll save that for another one. So remember to hit the subscribe button and notification bell for when that's released. The way we're going to use it today is as a standalone unit. So the first thing I'm going to do is untangle the wires and get the east in pads ready to be connected. Once the cables have been unraveled, plug the 2.5 millimeter connector cable into the base unit. It is important that you do this before you turn the Coyote 3 base unit on as it prevents shorts which can damage the base unit. The other end of the cable has two connections. Each one plugs into one of the pads. 
Once both pads have been connected to the cables, you're ready to start sticking it to your skin. With everything connected, we're now ready to turn on our base unit. So I'm gonna get everything out the way and show you how to do that. To turn on your Coyote 3 at the top of the toy, there are two buttons. You can use either of these buttons to turn on the toy. All you need to do is push it the once. You'll know your Coyote 3 is switched on because the eyes will light up and so will the other lights on the base unit. The Coyote 3 has four different waveforms. A waveform is similar to a vibrating toys pattern. To change it, all you need to do is slide the button up or down. As you can see on the base unit, the lights do change color when you select a different waveform. So I'm going to stick on the east in pads now to my arm and I'm going to show you the effect. You do need both pads attached to your skin for the toy to work. So you can't just use it with one pad or one loop. Don't throw away the plastic backing for the pads as you'll need this later on once you're finished with your pads. Stick them back on the backing once you're done and it will stop them from collecting dust and hair so that they last longer. Now that the pads are stuck on my arm, we're gonna start our Coyote 3. To start the toy, all we need to do is push on the power button once for our toy to start. You'll know that the toy's working because the eyes will start flashing. You'll also notice that in the top left hand side of the device, underneath the letter A, the light is flashing. And this is flashing in line with the waveform. Every base unit starts off at zero, so you won't feel any effects at the moment. The higher the intensity level, the more you'll feel the effects. To add more intensity, all you need to do is slide the power button upwards in the same motion that you selected your waveform. The button on the A side controls what's plugged into that half of the toy and the B button controls whatever's plugged into the other half. And yes, before you comment, that is me making that mistake. So I am gonna correct that now and start using the A button. Again, all you need to do is slide the button upwards to increase the intensity. And once I've turned it up enough, you'll notice my fingers are starting to contract involuntary. To stop the base unit at any time all you need to do is push on one of the buttons. The lights will stop flashing and remain constant. To turn off the Coyote 3 all you need to do is hold down the power button. Remember if I have inspired you to buy the Coyote 3 there is a link in the description below to my website. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button for future videos on other attachments and for one just for the Coyote app. So there you have it. That's what you get when you buy the Coyote 3 eSTEM system from DG Lab. Okay, so here comes the boring bit. The Coyote 3 weighs 80 grams. It measures 100 millimeters from top to bottom, 55 millimeters wide, and the thickness is 14 millimeters. And the battery can take anywhere up to three hours to charge. As for how long the battery will last whilst it's in use, that's up to you depending on how you use it. But it does have a thousand milliamp battery inside, which is almost double what the Coyote 2 had. Now I'm going to be making lots of videos on the Coyote 3, and that's because I've got all the attachments. And I think there was six in all. Plus there's going to be videos on how to connect the Coyote 3 to your mobile device, your PC, and how to use it long distance. Now at the time of recording this video, I have only used the pads and the loops. I am actually going to be making a separate video for the loops. And the main reason for that is because it's a little bit more content for me and makes you come back and watch another video. By the time I've released this video, I've probably used all of them already. But if you do order yourself a Coyote 3 with the loops, then get some lube. This just prevents any heat spots and prickling. Okay, so what did I think of the Coyote 3? surprisingly good and that is exactly what I was hoping for. I have used other Eastin brands in the past and I was a bit skeptical because this is so small but surprisingly it really does pack a punch. If you are a beginner or you're thinking about buying a box this is your best value for money. I think the power unit on its own is about 85 euros which is about 90 dollars or 75 English pounds. As I said I am making other videos so although I'm not giving a proper review today it is only because I've only just opened the box. As I release each video, I will leave in a small section about the previous attachments use. So in the next video, I will tell you a bit about how I've been using the pads. If I have inspired you to buy a Coyote 3, there is a link in the description to my website below. On the page will be a link to Coyote to buy it direct. This link is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more to use, but it does give me a very small percentage of DG Lab profits if you buy something. If you have got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments box below on my blog or come and find me on social media. 
All those links are also listed in the description below. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell for future videos. Until next time, peace out.